Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. So glad you could join today as we just continue going through the book of Romans. Hey, I need you to understand something today. This is a big one. God is for you. He loves you. In Romans, we're looking at chapter 8. I just want to jump ahead, and I'm going to revisit it later. But man, this morning, I felt like after talking with many people, uh, you need to hear this. God is for you. Romans 8, 31 through 39 says, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who didn't spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It's God who justifies. Who is it to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who was raised, who was at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us, who shall separate us from the love of Christ, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword, as it is written, for your sake, we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. Nope, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus our Lord. Listen, no matter what you're going to face today or this week or next year, you won't face it alone. God is with you. He is in you and he is for you. I just want you to know that my... Uh, our family is going through some things right now as far as my sister and brother. And listen, I, I'm thinking of you, especially and some others of you, Linda, and uh, that are that are going through and Kevin that are going through some battles right now with cancer. Listen, I we have a promise in Scripture. That promise says in Philippians 2.13, God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. God is working in you. I like the way that Rick Warren brings this to front in his Daily daily Hope devotion. He says the word working in Greek is the word energos, from which we get our word energy. God is the energy driver in your life. You're not just going on willpower. You're not just going on your own power. God says he's given you the power you need, no matter what you're facing. And not only is he in you, but he's also with you. The Bible says in John 14, Jesus speaking, verses 18 and 20, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. That's a big promise. The Bible says that Christ is in you, that you're sheltered with him, that you're sealed with the Holy Spirit. That means that for the devil to get to you, he has to get through the Trinity. That's a pretty good protection and a great relief from fear. But not only is God with you and in you, but he's also for you. Psalm 23, 6, the psalmist declares, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. You know, when a shepherd leads sheep, guard dogs are always at the back keeping watch, making sure the sheep move in the right direction. The Bible says that the guard dogs in your life are God's goodness and God's mercy. God's goodness and mercy are always at work in your life. God gives you the things that you don't deserve. That's his goodness. He doesn't give you the punishment that you do deserve for your sins. That's his mercy. His goodness includes the blessings you experience, but now also now, but also your gift of your gift of salvation. It says in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for it's by grace that you've been saved through faith. And this isn't from yourself, it's a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. God is watching over your life. You ought to get up every morning and say with confidence, God, thank you that you're going to be with me today. You're going to be in me today, and you're going to be for me today. That's good news. It helps you get rid of fear of whatever it is that you're facing and replace it with a joy uh, instead. Joy isn't based upon the happenings around you. It's based upon the one who owns your heart. And the one who owns your heart is Jesus. And let me just remind you, he is for you. Let me pray for you today. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for my friends that, that today, especially those that are struggling, and help them to hear this word. God is for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have an incredible day. 
Love God. Love one another. Now go be salt and light.